Hey guys, it's Rush G here. How are you doing? Welcome back to the chat. It's been five years, man. You know the intro by now. If you don't know the intro, then where the f have you been? Today we're doing a video on back throw tech. So just to recap, when you throw the opponent in Street Fighter V, quick, guess right, quick uh, forward throw, back throw, command grab you are forced to either delay rise or quick rise there's no back rise option after a throw look here i've got the opponent set to back rise Our wonderful assistant ryu did a back rise into three frame if i throw him maffy nothing happens nothing happens at all well it does happen but he doesn't get the back throw he gets the uh, the foot the, he gets the quick rise not the back rise animation because you are forced to do quick rise after a throw or you can delay obviously that's another option um, where you can do but you don't want to do that because let me show you why you don't want to do nothing if i throw from this range i could literally put Ryu in the corner because he didn't quick rise that's why you want to quick rise after you are back thrown especially ken's because ken has got good um corner sort of carry with a back throw that's why ken's back throw is actually very good in this game so what i want to show you today is what do you do after you've back thrown the opponent and what sick tech has rush g come up with for this situation well i've got stuff for you guys specifically when they have a wake up three frame you've got some trade combo situations let me just show you the optimal range you want to use this i don't actually know the optimal range myself so if you back throw from this range okay cool the stand heavy kick will crush counter and it will blow up the wake up three frame the reason for this is is because ken is plus 11 after back throw stand heavy kick is plus sorry it's 14 frame startup so that will um collide with the, the light and obviously you know this by now the heavier button in the collision wins the trade so crush counter think if I put Ryu a little closer to the center screen and then do this yeah so it can whiff and there will be the odd ranges where maybe the opponent's three frame will clip the recovery of the stand heavy kick it's all to do with spacing it can happen but you now know if you're just outside of you know like a, like a forward dash ish away from center screen you're gonna get that if they wake up with a three a three frame or a four frame or throw that will that will work now obviously you know a close range that's punishable so this is why this tech requires v trigger one to make it safe one two three. so you set that up with the back throw now why this is strong is because you don't have to worry about quick rise back rise because the opponent cannot back rise so that's guaranteed every time if they quick rise and press a button after waking up off the ground with the three frame the sick tech i've got to show you is is if you do a regular fireball vtc watch what happens when you do regular fireball vtc obviously it's v trigger one specific because v trigger one makes the fireball safe on block watch what happens now uh okay let's try that again i think my timing was off on the fireball i legit thought this tech didn't work let me try again so back throw into regular fireball but buffer the vtc okay cool cool see that because the trade happens ken is like plus double digit numbers I'll show you closer range i think i saw plus 16 I'm not entirely sure Plus 13. So the V trigger doesn't come out. You, know, you get no V trigger activation, but you do get. Great right, combos. So this is probably familiar to you guys when you're using. I forgot the tech it was now. I think it's Crouching Light Punch Fireball, Stand Like It Fireball. A mash between Stand Like It on block and EX Fireball, you get trade combos. But well, this works in the exact same way, and you get some mad stuff with this. Obviously, combined with meter and V trigger, you get some cool combos, good damage. There's all sorts of stuff you can get. Yeah. 
So not only can you show off to people with these trade combos, it's legit tech. Um, I'd say the reward for the fireball trade against three frag is actually better than the stand heavy kick option because if they mash, yeah, you take a bit of damage, but the trade leads to big damage with less meter spend. Is that right? Whoa. You save the activation for later, so you get a nice trade combo. If I was to go for like an optimal but sensible trade combo in this situation. Uh, actually, no, I think the optimal one like less meter. I think it's that. I think you do the Lion Breaker into X Fireball, then Heavy Punch DP. So 301 damage without even spending the V Trigger Cancel and um, only spending one bar. That's good, man. If they do Wake Up 4 frame, or if they do Wake Up Throw, for whatever reason, you'll just get the Fireball Activate. So. Something like that. You know what I mean? I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably just not spend the EX Fireball. I'd go for Light Punch DP, Heavy Punch DP. Or I'd go for the Like It Tatsu, Heavy Punch DP into Overhead Low setup. But that's what happens if they don't use a three frame, but they still get tagged. So you get that option as well. So nice combos, nice situation, I think. Um, I thought it's worthwhile sharing with you. You can just do EX Fireball. That works as well. But. Um, not much point truth be told if they're really close to the corner and they wake up with a button then you can what would i go for Damn it. That, that would be... That'd be... if they're close to the corner i think i'll just go for something basic like that it does require a slight walk forward i think i think even if you no no if you point if you kind of point blank yeah yeah that's close but if you bit further out sometimes you have to micro walk forward before the crouching medium punch so really to be fair if you put them in the corner that close something like that probably more logical but a you get the styling points against the three frame and b you get it's an it's an automatically timed meter there's no manual timing required for this Just throw the fireball out oh yeah the reason why that happened is because it wasn't wake up three frame. I was confused then. So, if you crap at timing your meters, that'll work every time. And the fireball will work. But I missed this combo. Oh, I missed it still. I miss it every time in these videos. But you get my point. So you get styling points, you get um, trade combos, you save the V-Trigger activation with the Fireball against three frames. So it's a legit option. It's um, auto time meters that lead into big damage uh, against the wake up three frame after the back run. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm pretty um, pleased with that find. Uh, any questions, any queries, as always, give me a shout and I will catch you in a future video. Take care.